Brain freeze! My head! Brain freeze! Oh my god! I'm Houston Jones, the world's strongest bodybuilder. And my life goal is to prove I'm the toughest man alive. Over the years, I've seen comments of people asking me to dive into a vat of acid. Wait, no, that's the wrong video. So people have been asking me to dive into freezing water, but little do they know that Houston, hot as the sun Jones, is impervious to the cold, and most importantly, hypothermia. To prove this, I will perform an experiment where I will submerge myself into freezing cold water for at least five minutes. And if at any time I show the first sign of hypothermia by shivering, I lose. So watch closely because I'm letting you decide if I win or lose. It's me, survivalist Houston, as you can tell. I'm sure you're all wondering, how am I gonna prove I'm immune to the effects of cold? Well, <laughs> I bet you don't know this, but on this property that I recently bought, I have a river slash creek over yonder. But there's only one way to it, a manly trek that takes an expert of the wild such as myself to get to. Don't mean to brag, but I'm kind of like the new and improved Coyote Peterson. Yeah, we got a easterly wind. The hardest part usually is uh, tracking down the river. I haven't been to it yet. I've heard tales of it from the previous property owners, but uh, if this is any, any, any indication, I think the river's that way. It's, uh, the dog always points to the water. There was a fire here. This is your fire pit. See, we got the, the Michigan uh, bush plant here. It's a native to Michigan. They grow all over the place. Don't be alarmed by them. They're not poisonous. Uh, this is an odd site. As you can see, the ground has erected a, a plastic structure. Um, it seems like Mother Earth has uh, cultivated a plant and potted it. Someone needs to plow out here, dude. Let's just say, this is my first rodeo. And I was barebacking it in Alaska. For a little- Barebacking what? I just had, my back was bare, and I was in Alaska. We were split dunking, you see. Uh, we ran into a family of wild bears. After I mother bear, the whole troop respected me. We have a good old Indian ritual ground here. The Apaches like to come out on my land and uh, make little rock things. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Stay behind me, Garrett. There's a lot of prickers around, which is why I brought my family heirloom, our trusty machete. It's really rusty. Uh, well, it's uh, it's still it's still sharp. It, the rust is more of like a character thing. When I was uh traveling through the Amazon with this old bad boy, let me tell you, it got me out of a a few pinches. Like when I had to cut my way out of a boa constrictor. Out of it? Yeah, it ate me with my sleeping bag on. Be gone! Don't worry, Garrett. I'll keep you safe. Cut that, cut that. Uh, we made it. It's frozen. 
which is why I brought my family's pickaxe. Whoa, slippery. Ooh. <laughs> it is really slippery. See, the, the trick to pickaxing is uh, really putting your back into every swing. Don't fall in. All right, Garrett, you ready? Staying in for five minutes at least to prove I can't feel I'm any ready. amount of coldness. Uh, I feel so warm right now from all that pickaxing so I'm looking forward to you look warm yeah I'm looking forward to this you know I mean how bad could it possibly be Woo! Woo! I turns out it's really shallow I think everybody oh. within a mile radius heard you scream Woo! all right everyone I'm taking the plunge in wish me luck everybody Dude, I'm fine. You think I'm exhibiting any symptoms of hypothermia? Doubt it. <laughs> I, uh, if anything, the water has been boiling over underneath here. Oh. All right. So, a uh, fun survival tip. Uh, when you you know, happen to have fallen in a, a nice little creek, river, don't panic. Uh, keep your wits about you and stay in it for a little bit because then you can, you know, evaluate your situation and think about how you got here. And then uh, from there, uh, you, you, you might actually die. You think a little bit of uh, ice water is going to kill me? <laughs> Doubt it, man. Four and a half minutes almost. I didn't, uh, you know, swim across the Atlantic Ocean to die in a little river like this. Let's see how long I can hold my breath underwater. It's a terrible idea, but all right. All right, what's my time at? You're pretty much at two minutes right now. Sure. A couple deep breaths. <gasps> I think he died. <laughs> oh, brain freeze! My head! Brain freeze! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, oh, I'm done with this! Ah! Oh, oh, my head! Are you ready to go oh, back? Can't forget my family heirlooms! <laughs> oh. Alright, I'm only hustling back because I'm so warm. Don't worry, Garrett. Stick with me and you'll be safe. <laughs> I didn't do three tours in Vietnam as a tourist for nothing. Your coyotes. It's bad at this time of year. I'm so hot, I can't even feel my fingers. That is hot. When my mom gave birth to me, the virginity completely melted. That was a long four hour trip. Whew. I don't know how you survived through all of it. Well, you see, Garrett, when I was uh, hiking up Mount Everest, once again, bareback, all I had on me was a pair of jorts and a signed Michael Jackson. Uh, Album. You look really nasty. You have blood dripping down your knees. Oh, it must be from the, the river. You're looking cold, Garrett. You know that? I'm pretty alright. You're looking chilly. So let me help you help you out here. <laughs> I'll crack on this fireplace. Heat you right on up. Uh, oh god. Okay. Your fingers hurt? No, they feel, like Garrett, they feel fine. 
pop this puppy on right here. I would hate for you to die of hypothermia. It's a good thing I'm exhibiting zero symptoms of hypothermia. So I can do tasks like this to help my good my good friend. Let me just get this can of soup open for you. Some chicken noodle. You know, it's always good for when people have a cold. It's a tough can. It's it's tough. I thought we were out of propane for a second there. Like I was saying, when I was in the outback, we had to skin a couple dingoes for food. And let me tell you, the meat was pretty good. Did you so, eat the skin? What? Did you eat the skin? Well, you gotta eat the skin, Garrett. You know what you'd look like you need? What? A nice thing of hot cocoa. You know, I'll make one for myself so you don't feel left out. It's getting hard to do. Uh, I bought some no sugar added hot cocoa because it's important to watch your calories no matter the situation. I don't want you to be cold because you're my friend. The next step is you put some water in it, I think. All right, great. It's ready. Ooh, that's a nice hot cocoa. Now, can't forget the marshmallows. It's a good thing we saved all those calories. For you. It's good. You know, I've been getting some weird looks from you, Garrett. I'm thinking you think that I'm actually cold. But I'm not cold, and I'm gonna prove it to you right now with the good old egg balance test. If I had hypothermia, I would have the shivers, right? But I don't have hypothermia. I don't have the shivers, so it means I can balance this egg on this spoon. I'm pretty good at this, Garrett. That egg is still on. It's because I'm, I'm so perfect. All right. Ah! Can't let it go to waste. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, we'll cut it when I go down and... <laughs> What's this, Garrett? There's a little bit of moonshine. I think it's water. Oh, just water? Yeah. Kind of looks weird that you put water in a mason jar. I mean, I know this is my house. Pretty sure it was Mark. I don't know why he likes drinking uh, water out of jars. Mate, my, the person that rents out a room for me? Yeah. That guy leaving jars of water all over the place. But I am pretty thirsty, so. <laughs> Holy sh Too strong water? Oh, <laughs> That's moonshine, dude. All right, 20,000 likes. I'll drink the rest of this jar of moonshine in the next, the next video. Big gulp, come on. <laughs> Don't throw up. <laughs> Reminds me, back when I took a trip to Antarctica, me and 13 other guys survived a month on one can of chicken noodle soup. And a lot of body warmth. Well, of course, there. I'm a human furnace, so they had to cuddle up with me. That was after we ate our sled dogs, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Poor pooches didn't see it coming, you know? But hey, you know? We made it back. Other than Jim, we ain't Jim. 